actually is the machine already on top. Okay? This part over here, sorry, this part over here is what we call the feeder of the machine. This is where the bolters would be inserting their ballots in any orientation. Pwede pa harap, pwede pa likod, pwede pa baliktad. Okay. But, yung pag-ilid, hindi pwede. <laughs> okay. Now, this part over here is what we call the touch screen. This is basically the interface of the poor workers or the BEIs or board of election inspectors with the system. Okay? If you could focus over there, you could see that there's the administrative menu. No? This is where the, the chairman of the BEIs would start or end elections, generate reports. Okay. okay, since you're using thermal printers, it's logical that you're going to use thermal paper. And thermal paper, as we know from our experience with it, from the receipts that we get from fast food, would fade quickly. No? Now, this is the answer to that. There are actually different qualities of thermal paper. Now, for the 2010 national and local elections, the thermal paper that we will be providing is manufacturer guaranteed to last at least five years. Now, of course, people would still be asking, okay, since that's a thermal paper, pag ginupit ko yan, magugupit ba yan? My answer there is, of course, it's still paper. Okay, if nainitan yan, sinindihan ko yan, magbablack ba yung paper? Sir, that's why it's thermal paper, because it reacts to heat. So, what I would like to highlight there is that the thermal paper would last at least five years under optimal conditions. Those conditions we will be highlighting with Comlec. What is the security key for? This is basically how the people or the BEIs can access the system. Because once you turn the system on, it's automatically in lock mode. If you use this key, it becomes unlocked. Actually, when I touch this key to this port, that's when the administrative men menu would screen would show up. Uh, and, okay, another component of the system which I did not bring today is what we call the battery. Back here, why do we need that battery? Because we will not be dependent on the available power supply in the voting centers throughout the Philippines. We basically bring our own power supply. Uh, and this battery would power the elections to 12 hours. Now, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., that's 11 hours. So, we can power the elections for at least 12 hours. Distributing a set number of marking pens to, throughout all of the cluster precincts in the Philippines. Now, some would be asking, Sir, is a lang ba yung distribute niyo? My answer there is, of course not. For a thousand voters, Sa unang botante pa lang, nawala na yung pen. <laughs> so we will be deploying a number of pens that we are sure can last throughout the election. Now, a number of people also asked me, can we use our own pens? Actually, you can. But we would rather the people use the pens that we will be providing. No? Question, what if I use a pencil to mark my selections? The answer there is that the system can read pencil marks. What I want to highlight though is that we want to, pro uh, to protect transparency. Bakit? For example, if we dip the, the voting through pencil marks, no? and then we transmitted the results already, what if there was a collusion at the precinct level, and then they change the marks there? Would the marks in the ball in, in the in the ballot papers correspond to the marks that to the to the results that we send? Of course not. No? And that could actually be a cause for people disbelieving in the authenticity of this. Okay? Now, it is now printing what we call the initialization report or the zero vote document. It's basically a sign-off report where that the BEIs and the watchers can imprint their signatures and their thumb marks. Now, what is the significance of this report? It's basically saying that our system is zeroed or empty as of the start of elections. It's like in the manual elections, we overturn, we invert the ballot box to show that there are no previously stuffed ballots there.
we are bringing these up. Now, I'm going to press no here because it's basically asking me if I want more copies of that report. And you can focus on the screen. Now, this, the screen is now displaying, displaying different messages. First, it displays the status. It shows open, meaning this elections is already open. Pag sinara ko na po yung elections later, the status would be closed. And then, there's a message here where it says, please insert ballot. And then, on the lower part, there's a counter, or the ballot's cast counter. Now it reflects zero. Each vote that is casted into this system would make that counter increment by one. At this point, I will demonstrate how to insert a ballot. What I'll be doing is I'm going to insert what we call a black ballot, or an undervoted ballot. Gusto ko lang pakita sa inyo how the system would react with undervoting. Kunyari sa president's position, wala po akong minatahan. Now it says they're casting ballot. And then, thank you for voting. Okay? So, now it says they're please insert ballot again, and then the ballot's cast counter is already won. So can we our next session? Because I understand that uh, that Secretary Muto can buy special pen. It's not a special. You can buy. I don't buy nothing. Put na lang ang gamitin ko. Which is fine, but in the of time, you just want to vice president. Um, actually, our, our vice president right now, I think, is a little The machine will automatically cash that ballot. And then we will now pay you for your vote. <laughs> <laughs> We actually have to wait for you. Thank you for voting. Uh, yeah. Thank you for voting. See you in three years. Wait. Oh, wait. See you next. See you in three years. <laughs> 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 Invalid ka? Yeah. 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 Yeah.